Hello friends, here is Jim Dars Selvers bringing you a new campaign of this fantastic game, that is Combat Mission. Fortress Italy. In this episode we will radically change the air, from the Saharian heat of Sicily, where we travel through the Troina campaign, now to the icy immensity of the Apennines region, in northern Italy, in the middle of the European winter. We will follow in this campaign several component units of the Allied 5th Army in the final moments of the Second World War, in their battle against the famous German Gothic Line, in Operation Encore, which took place between February 18 and March 5, 1945. In this first episode, the Allies will feature elements of the 10th Mountain Division, recruited primarily from volunteer winter sports enthusiasts and ski and mountaineering clubs across the United States. From dusk on February 19, 1945, climbers of the 86th Mountain Infantry Regiment climbed the rock face of River Ridge, more than 500 meters high, placing a line of studs and ropes behind them, along which the 1st Battalion, which engaged the German forces by surprise, taking this important strategic position, from which German artillery impeded the Allied advance towards Bologna. Also in this campaign, we will count on the participation of our expeditionary force and its brave soldiers. The objectives of this first mission, called River Ridge, will be the maintenance of the three REPL support points, worth 100 points each. The east and west faces of Mount Capelbuzo are secondary objectives that must be occupied and will guarantee 350 victory points each. I hope you enjoy it and let's go for the fight. Elements of Company B of the 1st Battalion of the 86th Mountain Infantry Regiment have already reached the top of the mountain and are advancing to occupy the initial objectives, which are the points of support for the Rappel. First contact with the enemy takes place, as does the first skirmish. Due to the surprise factor, German resistance is sparse and easily defeated by American firepower. Alerted by the shots, the German resistance progressively increases from positions hidden in the woods.
One by one the German positions are reduced in the woods, and scattered gunfire is heard here and there. The first German defensive positions are dominated in the form of isolated foxholes scattered across the sector. From the view from the top of Mount Capelbuzo, east it is possible to follow the American advance. Ten-minute battle situation reporting. All primary objectives have been reached, and units are now heading towards secondary objectives, which are the east and west faces of Mount Capelbuso. These secondary objectives seem to be better protected and combat escalates quickly.
strategic positions at the heights of Mount Capaguzo are manned with machine guns that target American troops located further down. The number of casualties increases as the battle progresses. Strong German counterattack takes place and the tension rises progressively. American units advancing on the east face of Mount Capelbuzo, here in the distance the skirmishes taking place towards the summit of the west face, and assist their comrades whenever possible.
With 20 minutes into the battle, the American positions were consolidated with the maintenance of a protective garrison at each of the support points for the Rappel. The advance on the east face of Mount Capelbuzo is advanced, while the advance on the west face of this mountain is somewhat delayed due to the greater resistance found in that area. A scout is deployed to advance and test the German defenses atop the east face of Mount Capelbuzo. Meanwhile, U.S. units advance cautiously towards the summit of the west face of Mount Capelbuzo. This advance does not happen smoothly, and new enemy positions are identified at every moment. Thirty minutes situation report that shows an important advance on the two remaining objectives, being that to the east, two bunkers have been identified, whose garrisons must be neutralized before this objective is considered safe. On the west face, the American units have already reached the objective limits in that sector.
the attack on the bunker on the east face begins. The bunkers face towards the valley below this ridge, and the Americans approach from the opposite side, which totally surprises the garrisons. Elimination of the last relevant German defensive position located on the west face of Mount Capelbuzo, the Americans are declared victorious in this battle. This battle was considered a total American victory, with the loss of 19 men, with 9 men killed and 10 wounded, against the 48 losses on the part of the Germans, practically eliminating the entire German garrison in the area. All objectives have been achieved, and the American army begins this campaign with a brilliant victory in this first mission, which will provide the possibility for the Brazilian expeditionary force to have its flank protected, and to be able to advance on the German positions in the valley below. With that, Jim says goodbye and hoping you all enjoyed it. Be well, be safe. Namaste.